blacksmith. Apes. This is your internet buddy, Jack Smith. And um, today, the items on the roster are, um, first and foremost, Elon Musk. Elon Musk? I don't know how to say the fucker's name. But uh, Elon Musk, really smart guy, really rich guy, pissing away money on all kinds of uh, shit. Um, but he does have one good idea. This, um, this neural net that uh, is supposed to be the uh, brain computer interface, which is absolutely fucking necessary. It's literally the most important thing in the whole world, barring anything. I mean, it is so important. 100% of the trillions of dollars that the United States takes in in tax money, 100% should be going toward the development of this. It is, I mean, it is immortality. It is, it is the... Uh, it will save us from the post-human earth uh, in a form more or less vulnerable to physics. Um, yeah, the uh, Elon Musk is he's talking about space and doing shit in space and rockets and shit like that. We are never going to space. We are never, ever going to space as we are now. There will be no apes in space. Never, ever, ever. Space and apes are incompatible. So, all this bullshit about going to Mars and shit, why not start with the moon? It's like, yeah, well, we, uh, we failed at, uh, we failed at riding the bicycle, uh, but now we're gonna, now we're gonna try to ride a unicycle. You know, we failed at the moon. Um... And the moon was really cool, and it was uh, far closer than Mars, quite frankly, and uh, with a lot less weather, you know? There are no giant dust storms on the moon. You might get hit by an asteroid or something, but, um, yeah, why are we going to Mars when we can't go to the moon? Uh... There are no bases on the moon, you know. Um, I mean, the United States could have owned the fucking moon. But uh, we ran out of money because all our space money um, went to other shit. Probably supporting forced immigration being a, uh, a very large, a very large thing, but, uh, military, military nonsense, um, on top of that. So yeah, Elon Musk, fuck this space travel bullshit and fuck you for even, I mean, he's supposed to be a smart guy, so he must be talking about space travel to placate stupid apes who um will support that shit and think that you know that's a thing <clears throat> although the apes i mean jack smith is uh 
Jack Smith is uh, on the internet uh, interacting with douchebags constantly. And the people who are really into space don't seem very smart. Um, they just seem like, you know, global warming fanatics. Um, but, uh, so yeah, Elon Musk, uh, neural net, come on, dude, please. It's the only possible thing that will, that will allow humanity to evolve for fuck's goddamn sake. Um, it's funny, uh, uh, and, and that other douchebag, or, I mean, Elon Musk, if he comes up with the neural net, he's not a douchebag. Uh, Richard Branson is definitely a douchebag, a big money-wasting, Obama cock-sucking ponce. Um, but he recently, um, kind of threw his hat into the Kurzweilian you know, transhumanist vague idea that they're trying to put out there to herd the retarded cats into understanding it. Um, Richard Branson, who Jack Smith, Jack Smith contacted Richard Branson back in like 2008 and had a conversation on the internet with Richard Branson about transhumanism and Richard Branson implied that Jack Smith was crazy um, but somehow he has come around um, maybe somebody explained to him that uh, yeah dude you're gonna die soon you've got gray hair and plastic surgery on your face is not gonna save your stupid ridiculous one percenter elite life the only way you're going to be saved is if you become a machine <clears throat> so yeah that was the first thing i wanted to talk about second thing obamacare <laughs> obamacare or trump care listen people are saying i mean douchebags are saying this Trump care thing failing is some kind of failure of Trump's. No, it isn't a failure of Trump's. The fact that it, that Trump care failed is a success of Trump's for fuck's sake, because Trump care was just Obamacare with a couple of, uh, with the title changed. That's how bad the fucking Republicans are. After 16 years of um, doing nothing except expanding government under Bush and under Obama, they don't know how to legislate, you know, for the people. They just have no, no clue what to do. Their, their job description has changed to pretend to do stuff but do nothing. So the failure of... Uh, Trump care was just a couple of legislators being like, no, this is a piece of shit, which is a good thing, not only for everyone, but for Trump too, even though the liberals are trying to pretend it's some <clears throat> huge failure of the orange man. No, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Obamacare, I mean, Obamacare like who belongs to it does anyone know actually know anyone who's on Obamacare not many people do I mean all the prisoners in the prisons were automatically put on it to inflate the numbers to make it seem like it wasn't a big mess um, but those prisoners are not paying the $5,000 deductible that you know uh, people in the ghetto are forced to pay now <laughs> who who were dumb enough to be signed up to it by their social workers or whoever. 
Uh, <clears throat> what else was I going to fucking say? What else is going on in the news? Oh, yeah. Huma Abedin. Huma Abedin. Who, um, last I saw Huma Abedin, it really wasn't Huma Abedin. It was like, um, it was that dude, that Irish dude, <laughs> that Irish dude from Project Veritas who was like dressed in a, in a, in a hijab going to some place during the election and saying his name was Huma Abedin and he didn't have his registration. Could he vote here? And they were like, yeah, sure, Huma, you could vote here. So anyway, yeah, Huma Abedin. <clears throat> really, really cute. Married to a really, really gross dude. <clears throat> cute, but daughter of a terrorist. Um, and married a an Israel-hating American Jew. Uh, so it's like uh, daughter of terrorists, or not not officially terrorists, Islamic extremists. Daughter of uh, Islamic extremists marries um, Israel-hating Jew, and they find a bond under the uh, under the mantle under the protective mantle of. Um, I don't know, I guess, elite Marxism. That's, I guess, what you call the Marxists who are um, in the um, political aristocracy. Yeah, so those two are, uh, after he, like, cheated on her with 15-year-old girls and shit like that, um, they're not divorcing. And it is likely because... If he would cheat on her, he would testify against her, which he cannot do if they are still married. So, um, Democrat shenanigans, more and more Democrat shenanigans. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm out of time. So, um, yeah, fuck you all and um, fuck Richard Branson. All right, Jack Smith out. Jack Smith.